Hey guys, this is me again, Jen, and welcome aboard on my channel. And yes, I'm back for another video. And for today's vlog, it's gonna be an interview with the purser and with the manager. So if you are interested, then just keep on watching. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe, tap the notification bell so that you'll be notified on my next video. Just, just like this one. one. So if you are ready, let's begin. Boys, I'm a fool for your love. Before we will start with our vlog guys, I would just like to inform you that this is actually the second time that we're shooting this vlog. The first time, it was a fail. It's because kasalanan ko. No wala yung audio ng... I'm sorry, as in nakakahiya talaga because I was actually in the process of editing the vlog and it turned out it doesn't have any audio. It's because my external microphone was not working. Nasira pala siya. Hindi ko napansin kaya... I'm so sorry po. That's why this is the second time that we're shooting this. Supposedly, this is a budol fight or like a mukbang vlog. Pero kanina, kumain na kami kasi sobrang gutog na namin, guys. Share ko lang. Sobrang sarap na kinahin namin. It's a bangos mukbang. Sobrang sarap. Di ba, Mamo? Super sarap talaga ng Marilia ng Bobbies. And chicken galanti. Galanti. Yeah, Mortar ka, actually. Mortar ako, actually. Nagpareserve ka lang. Nagpareserve ako. Pero si Jen... Yo, I know. Uh, bangos sisig and the... Uh, Tinapa na. Tinapa bangos. And speaking of the bangos, can you give us further details, Miss? Uh, we call ourselves as LCTH. Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> so LCT is based from our last names. So basically, we're four in the company. So L for Mayora's last name, which is Lapus. Mine is C, Cruz. And then, Mr. Castaneda. <laughs> and then we have another partner, Paul Calderon. So, she did siya, represented by Harry Slim. So, that's why it's LCT. We're focusing on distributing for now. Ang meron kami nga is the, the Bangus. Different products ng Bangus. The dishes that we mentioned earlier, guys, they distribute that. So, if you wanted to know further details about LCTPH, I'll be more than happy to put the link on their social media accounts in the description below. So, just feel free to check that out. And, miss, tanong ko lang, matagal na ba to or kaka start mo siya? Eight weeks, it started. Biglaan na, actually. It was never planned. Yung husband ni Rhyme and husband ko are partners, business partners. So, they're supposed to deliver ng sasakyan in the Gupan. So, the buyers from the Gupan. Sumama lang kami ni John. Tapos, we tried na, oh, let's try buying bangus, daing, and tinapa. Tapos, try natin i-post ng online. Since most of the products are sold online because of, ano nga, GCQ, GCQ. So, we tried. We bought around 40 na daing, tapos mga 20 to 30 na din na pa. Tapos before we even reached Manila, we posted on the way to Manila, wala pa kami sa Manila sold out na yung product. So sabi namin, para may future, may future ang bangus. It goes to show na masarap talaga yung mga pagkain kasi nasa sold out siya. And let's proceed with the interview proper, but before we will do that, introduce nyo yung Master, you're this. Hey, assistant guys, kasi katabi niya manager in person. Plus, may kasalanan ko sa nang pinag-tinto. Di ba? Wala yung gem. Let's start with my tatay. Tatay ko sa training. Hi, I'm John. I work for Subbu Pacific for 15 years. Hi, I'm Rhyme. Been flying for 13 years. I'm I, so I've worked with Cebu Pacific for 14 years. I'm Harris, and I'm worked with Cebu Pacific <laughs> for almost 10 years now. Uh, can you differentiate what is a purser and what is a cabin crew manager? So when you say a purser, it's basically the person in charge of the flight. Uh, Mostly right. international. They could still fly domestic, but once you say kasi purser, we're referring more on international flights. So they're the lead cabin crew. For International. For international, with cabin crew manager, mostly these people are in charge on training and we do, I don't know if they're familiar, but we do competency checks. So, para siyang practical test. Also, they're in charge of keeping the records, attendance, grades, performance ng mga cabin crew. So, it's more of office work. Yes, you. yes, yes. Okay, so, yun yung difference between the two guys. I hope we were able to answer that question. So, I actually, I think, 10 questions from them. So, for the first question is... No cheating! <laughs> 
Naawa po ba kayo sa mga new FA pag natataranta o kinabahan pagkausap kayo? For me, no. Parang mababaw to say naawa because you've been there yourself, di ba? Um, kinakabahan sila, yes. Naaalala mo din kasi where you started. When I started, hindi ka rin naman ganun ka-perfect. So you know where they're coming from. Parang ganun. Hindi naman tayo nag-hire automatic. Magaling na yung career. You have your set of skills, but at the same time, you have to develop pa and enhance for the person to be able to perform. So, I don't think na maawa. Siguro support lang. Ako, ano? Naawa? Hindi. 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 Bakit? Ganun din. Parang lahat naman dumaan sa training. So, more on, ano na lang. Coaching. Ang kinakatakot naman mostly ng mga view yung safety, safety ng oh. purser and managers during drive. Just to give them a background, when we say safety, uh, the purser will ask questions, procedural or uh, procedural. Yeah, procedural. situational. Yeah, procedural. Yeah, procedural. Yeah, procedural. Yeah. Kung nag-aral ka, there's nothing to worry about. I think this is for the purser. <laughs> is it hard to lead a flight, especially when emergencies occur? Same thing, siguro yung answer ba kanina. If you came prepared for work, then ganun naman din. Nandun naman talaga kasi yung fear, not only for the passengers, but also for us kasi syempre parang anywhere naman there's always a risk kung meron medical emergency yeah there's fear pero you can surpass that if you're ready and you're prepared and you know all the safety um, procedures we also have manuals in flight if you're unsure of what you're doing mga ganun ba that's why uh, I think yung safety na safety procedure it's very important because pag alam mo yung ginagawa mo you feel confident eh. for the next question I think si Sir John and si Mamao yung makakasagot kasi pareho sila nagsasama sila during recruitment day what specific character are you looking for for a cat. Siyempre, yung number one yung fun personality kasi siyempre, alam naman natin yung Cebu Pacific. It's a fun airline, di ba? So, dapat first and foremost, fun personality. Kami kasi ni Daddy John, dahil kami partner sa initial screening. Weird kasi nagkakasundo kami sa gusto kunin. Siguro, dahil medyo matagal na rin kami sa company, alam na namin kung ano yung ugali na hinahanap namin na makakasundo. Like what I've said sa last vlog, di ba? Na parang, there's a certain attitude and personality na pag nakita namin, parang may wow factor na, ah, ako ito. Pwede ito. And this is a self-factor. Kasi meron, meron na parang, hindi pa kami naka-yellow shirt, nagkalahad ka pa lang. Yung taong, hi po, good morning, yung pinabati lahat. Tip yun, pag when it comes to hiring, pag mag-apply ka, lahat ng makikita mong tao, matiin mo, kasi you never know kung sila yung mag-i-interview sa'yo. Next question, what are the qualifications to be a purser and how long does it take to be one? sa experience ko, seniority nung time ko, parang time ko na na, kung baga for interview to be upgraded, pinatanggap ka ng office unlike nung time ni Har that you have to apply oo ano din is yung yearly appraisal. They set a minimum, dapat 90 before you can apply. Once you're updated na to a purser, you have to maintain a 95 appraisal. But when we say appraisal, sir, what what are the things? That's attendance, performance, safety, knowledge, instructions. So we have to maintain a 95 yearly appraisal. Kasi pag hindi, pag below 95, we get downgraded to regular crew. How about on the manager side, miss? What's the process? Purser to manager, if you feel that you're ready for the position, <laughs> go ahead by application. So it's a personal choice whether you think you're ready for the position, you go ahead and apply, they assess your records. So basically it's the same. If we have certain qualifications for a cabin crew to be a purser, we also have certain qualifications for a purser to be a manager. Number of years as a purser, at least one year as a purser for you to become a manager. Tapos you grade them. Siyempre you have to make sure maganda yung records mo. What else? Communication skills. Kasi you'll be dealing with other people. English proficiency, so parang mayroong essay writing contest. So, ganun siya. And safety questions. And safety questions as well. During the interview, you have to go through safety knowledge check. Next question is, anyone can answer, it's based on your experience. How do you manage a passenger who has many complaints? Na paano siya? First, ano, you have to understand where the complaint is coming from. Kasi you have to put your feet in their shoes, eh. Para malaman mo din, para ma-understand mo din kung bakit ka nagko-complain. Kung bakit nagko-complain yung isang passenger. And now you handle, ano din, also understand na parang ikaw, kung ganun yung complaint mo, how would you feel? And how would you like the cabin crew to treat you to make up for the complaint? And some complaining passengers naman, sometimes they don't really expect you to solve it, but they just need someone 
um, to listen. To listen. Mm-hmm. Kasi sometimes Empathize. yung complaint nila hindi naman about the flight. It's not, Could be uh, even before the flight, something happened in the airport, something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Kailangan lang nila ng kausap, mag-vent out uh, para <laughs> mailabas <laughs> yung concern nila. Yeah. Don't interrupt na lang. Ako yes. talaga, don't interrupt someone who's mad. Don't have negative negative filters. The next question is, this is for the manager. Gaano <laughs> kabigat ang responsibility bilang manager? For me, hindi naman siya mabigat option. Parang sa akin na, fulfilling nga siya. Kasi oh. siyempre lalo na kung may problema yung hinahandle mong crew, tapos matutulungan mo siya. Parang saan fulfilling yung work ko. First class kami mm-hmm. hinandol ni Sir John, by the way, guys. At tingnan mo, fulfilling ba? Fulfilling ba? Fulfilling ba? Pag matulad din ni Elda, fulfilling din. Wow! Si Ria! Si Ria! Si Ria! Si Ria! Ay! 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 Pero masakit ba kami sa ulo i-handle eh, Sir John? Ay, hindi. Yung first class ko hindi, ano, sobrang... Kasi first class ko, tas assist lang ako kay, ano, PK. Kahit na ako yung medyo light sa class namin, hindi ako yung medyo stricto. And nakikita ko pa rin na nandun yung respect nila sa akin. Aww. Ako, depende sa perspective. Siguro like John, the work itself, sabi hindi mabigat. Hindi mabigat. Doable. However, I would say mabigat because yun nga, managers are in charge of the training. I would say not everyone is made for the job. Let's say out of the 30 students you have in a class, 20 kung matapos lahat yung 30. Pero meron at meron talaga kahit gano mo ipilit na you know what I mean, ang yeah. eh. Parang hindi talaga para sa kanila. So yun, pumapasok na mabigat. Kasi as much as you want everyone to finish the training and all of them to be a flight attendant, minsan hindi talaga pwede. Parang ganun. Kaya mabigat. Siyempre, mommy. Diba? So, parang mahirap. Pero gusto ko lang i-flex yung batch namin. Ha? Complete kaming graduate sa batch. Proud na proud ako guys. Ang galing! Slow block. Is there a chance for people using glasses to be a cabin crew someday? Actually, dati, inaalaw yung glasses. Contacts pwede. Pero ngayon, pwede na kasing mag-glasses. Basta may certain colors lang na yeah. allowed. Natural colors. But I would suggest, siguro pag-hiring, if you can wear contacts na lang. Wear contacts na lang. I think that's better than wearing glasses. There is a saying that higher risk equals high reward. What have you risked to get where you are right now? That's a good question. I'll give you a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Siguro not more on risking something, but more on sacrificing something. So number one would be time. With your loved ones, with your family, you have to sacrifice a lot of holidays for the people to be with their family. Kapalit, you not being with your family. <laughs> yes, meron. One kid. Hi, Vito! Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Three Two girls kids. and one boy. But again, Mr. when you're a person, it's more on grand eye flight. Yeah, so, so yun yung sacrifice ko naman. Same with I time. Kasi especially now, yung eldest ko nine years old. So sa school, and dami ko namin miss na events. Yeah, mga events sa school. So yun, hira. Pero lahat naman ng sacrifices ng parents para sa Yes! yes. <laughs> okay, for the next question, para sa iyo, Sir John. Why is height so important? Actually, hindi naman siya sa height. Actually, yung important is yung reach. Kaya minsan may mga key. Reach! Reach! Yung mga karimu. Ano siya ang sige ka naman mo? Kasi diba yung overhead bin ng bawa, yung 330, medyo mataas siya. Kulang ka sa height, kulang ka rin sa reach. Hindi mo maabot yung overhead bin. Paano ka makapag-assist sa passenger? Pag-check mo rin na equipment, medyo mataas siya nilagyan niya. In case of emergency, kasi there are certain equipments that you have to get from the overhead bin. So, yun talaga yung pinaka-importante na we will be able to get it agad as fast as possible. Paano po pag dollar ang binayad ng passenger, dollar din po ba ang sukli or Philippine peso? As far as I know, kailangan Philippine peso because according to our system, the max crew, yung iPad, na ginagamit, parang automatic siya na magkakonvert into peso. Yun change. Galing to actually sa isang crew, bakit kailangan nyo po mag-safety? Gano'n po? Gano'n po? Gano'n po? Gano'n po? No, ganito kasi yun. When you're the lead of a flight or you're the purser, syempre, gusto mo, lahat ng mga kasama mo, competent. Yeah. One of the gauges na para malaman mo na if competent through their safety knowledge. Curious lang, naiinis ba kayo pag hindi na sasagot yung safety? Actually, yes. Kasi ang mga tinatanong ko usually is very basic lang. And then, hindi pa nila masagot. Parang ganun. Wala pa silang alam. So, anong ginawa nila sa tayo? For me, parang hindi niya pinaghandaan yung lipad niya kung hindi siya makasagot ng safety. 
Oh, ako na inis din ako. Ako naman, as the more on situational naman ako. Ito kasi yung safety ni Miss, kasi may pa-buzzer siya. So, let's say, ganito yung setup, briefing. Tapos may meron siyang buzzer sa gitna. Sino first time ko kalipad? So, kayo, mag-step na kayo. Okay, kamay sa... Dibdib! Oh my God, the first question. Tapos, patagal na patagal, mas mahirap siya. So, kailangan ko talagang... Mauna. Mauna talaga sumagot. That was the most challenging. That's the good thing about flying with Mayora. Kasi may balance ng fun and pagiging style. Here now, our last question. This is super duper easy. If we see you on a flight and want to talk with you during the flight, can we? In general, yes, but there are certain phases of the flight that we cannot. One would be takeoff and landing. Pero in flight, ano yung problema? Those are the questions, basically. Wow! Now for the last one, I just want to hear from you guys. Any advice? Para sa mga aspiring cabin crew, apply na ng apply. Wag mo lang ng pag-asa because if it's really for you, para sa yun talaga. In God's perfect. Yeah. It's dream mo talaga yung at to become a cabin crew. Just keep chasing your dreams. Believe in yourself. Kung hindi di nga ngayon, maybe next time. Basa try and try and patience lang tayo. Ako aspiring cabin crew have the passion and the determination. If you really want the job, the application it doesn't end there. Start palang yon. The training is not easy. It's really hard, but it's doable. That's why we're here, de ba? Hindi talaga siya madale pero doable. Marami nang nakagawa. Kaya niya ring gawin yon as long as you're determined. Focus on your goal, on your dream, and eventually you will be able to do it. Kung hindi man nakuha at first. Eventually. Pag nandun na kayo. Ang sarap na feeling. So, parang. Before we will end this vlog, guys, invite them again with the LCT PH. We have Facebook page and Instagram at lct.ph. Follow and like. Yun, open for resellers. Open for resellers. Noredev, resellers at Marikina, Bulacan, Matangas, Cavite, Cavite, Cebu, Cebu, Tacloban. Okay, once again, guys, please do check out our FB and Instagram page. We are lct.ph. Um, you'll be able to see our different products from bangus to alige to salmon belly. We would just like to inform you that we are open for resellers. You could PM us directly if you're interested. And also, please follow LC Cars Trading. We stand behind every car we sell. Quality guide. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I hope you learned a lot. And of course, big thanks to our pursers right here, Sir Harris. We have Miss Ryan. And to our managers, Miss I and Tatay Nano, siyempre, Sir John. <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much. And speaking of businesses, I just would like to add that the shirt that we're wearing right now, together with Sir Cairo and Bamao, this is from Pride Line PH. And this clothing line is owned by Very Yours Truly, Ian Mori Show. Yeah, if you want to have this shirt that celebrates inclusivity and diversity, it's Pride Line PH at Pride Line PH on Instagram and Pride Line on Facebook. The designs are for LGBTQIA plus plus like this one. And there you go, guys. Thank you so much again. And 